week two of no longer really an expat ness. Up to now, I've been so busy with being sick, road tripping, and vita ing like a boss that I've hardly even noticed. <laughs> hardly even noticed. My Vita related theme jacking continues this week as we are talking about our spending problems. First, I really wish I didn't have my spending problems because I would love to show you euros and dollars. Not that I don't think you've already seen euros and US dollars, but being home has only solidified my love affair with the euro as such a beautifully designed system. They keep getting bigger! It's perfect! Except that stupid 50 cent piece that kind of messes everything up. But anyway, since I left Europe fairly broke, I only have five euros, and that's not really sufficient to make my point. Anyway, my spending problems under normal living in the US circumstances are principally my love of all things shiny and secret and my obsession with Sephora. Show me something gaudy and covered in sequins and I will very much want to buy it. Likewise, it was only while living in Paris that I lost my you spend over $350 a year here, you are very important to us status with Sephora. I resolved to dedicate all of my frivolous spending to travel expenses while I was living in France and as such I was surprisingly good about my normal vices. But now that I'm home and sad about being home, it has been so long since I've purchased nail polish or eyeliner and Sephora is calling my name. So is Piper Lime. Oh, Piper Lime. I haven't started working yet, so I don't actually have money to burn yet. But once I do, once I figure out how much of my income is disposable, I'm pretty sure I'll find a way to dispose of it. And that being said, I am fairly optimistic about retaining some of last year's focus. As much as I would love new shiny shit, that is always money that could be better spent on some sort of trip. I guess travel expenses are a thing that I can't help but spend money on, but I kind of don't care. It's not like the fact that I own more makeup than I will ever reasonably wear. And that's a spending habit that I feel a little bit guilty about. The travel, though, I don't regret that. To me, that's the absolute best way that I could spend whatever portion of my income isn't dedicated to bills. I'm not even a little bit sorry about that, and I'm pretty sure I'm in good company for that thought. Brittany, what are your spending vices? I know you just got to Germany, but have you bought anything exciting to show us yet? Show us fun stuff! Kyle, Rhiannon, I look forward to seeing your wallet woes on Thursday and Friday. And Brittany, I will see you tomorrow.